My name is Bill Bruford. You are listening to New Visions on VH1, and that was Sleepless by a group that uh, both myself and my next guest, Tony Levin, played in. As you can tell, the, the cut was hinged around Tony Levin's bass playing. So how have you been? Are you well? Well, buddy. <laughs> I've been fine. It's good to be here. Thanks have for the we, introduction. Um, pleasure. Have we broken up? I was going to ask you <laughs> that. I, I, people tell me we've broken up. So yeah, you it's know. It's been a few years now. I was beginning to think maybe we had. And this is a perfect chance to ask you. So right. I don't see you much. Did, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I spoke to, to Robert briefly on the, the staircase at EG Management back in London the other day, and mm -hmm. he was twirling, and he was entertaining 15 or <laughs> 16 uh, young American guitarists who are his students, and as part of their passing out um, parade, you know, from the course, I understand that uh, they played in Wimborne, Southport, in Israel. <laughs> I've well, heard that tour. That's a good tour. <laughs> I've heard of some tour itineraries in, in my life, but uh, Wimborne, Southport, in Israel. But they didn't open in malls the way we used to. We, we used to open in, and do the first concert of every tour in this little club in Bath that's called right. Malls. It was... Yes, Malls Vegetarian Restaurant. Yeah, something great yeah, about that. Yeah, that's right. That's right. These were the days. But you know, you're on a new record, actually. This, this, did you know about this? I didn't know about this. This is the compact King Crimson, which uh, selections by Robert of King Crimson over the centuries. And uh, we have several cuts on here. You and I are on yeah. this thing. And are we good? We're OK. Sounds yeah. a whole lot like this, the albums we were on, actually. But it's actually a very nice package, very nice presentation. Not should too should bad everyone at all. run out and get this? Would that be if you play your cards right, you might get sent one. Oh, oh. I'm going to try and get one of these records. So it seems it's, it's odd for a, a lot of people because even though we joke, you know, um, it's been several years since King Crimson officially stopped playing in America as far as I can make out. And uh, there is, of course, a lot of interest still in the band and we're probably as interested as you guys are. And no one would assume this, but if I didn't hear about this record on this show, I would never have known about this thing. <laughs> I certainly wasn't getting checks in the mail or anything like that. Right? I see. I'm excited about this. <laughs> And who have you been playing with in the interim? Peter, no doubt. Peter, yeah. I, I was excited about meeting this drummer who used to play with Genesis. I heard the beginning of the show. And, and, uh, is I... he coming on soon, or am I talking to him? <laughs> You're talking to the guy who, who popped up briefly there with yeah, Genesis. I did a tour on an album with, uh, what's his name, this guy who used to sing with Genesis. Yeah. Uh, Pete. <laughs> G English Peter guy. G. English Peter G. Peter G. Nice tour. And I've done a few albums. Mm -hmm. but since the years that we played together, I've done quite a few. Yeah, uh, there was a, a lot of albums. Yeah, Peter and G has indeed plans to work this summer. I think we'll tour Europe. Good stuff. Good stuff. Beautiful group. That's the one the musicians will turn out for. A few of them do. It's oh, hard yeah. to pick them out among. I mean, there's a lot of people nowadays. Didn't used to be. Yeah. A lot of people come to see Peter play. So. Any more women come? No. The, the no, mostly. Mostly men. Men we, who we, could very we have likely this, be guitar players. We have this major problem with King Crimson throughout our career, which was that the audience was 99% male. I'm not joking about this. It's, it was kind of disappointing. And the odd girlfriend who had been dragged there and who was looking that's right. like this, kind of waiting for, for <laughs> that's some right. other yeah. act to come along yeah. and save them from us. Yeah, yeah. but this is not true, you know, with, the, with the, the David Torn thing that just went around Germany, and also the Earthworks thing. Really? We, oh, yes. It's something, I don't know what it is, but the 50-50. Really? Female-male there, which is much better, you know. It's really a lot nicer to have some, so, so girls, come along, we like playing for you, but I agree, they were aggressive sounding groups, hmm. the King Crimsons. So, um, I think we'd better stay tuned for more with me and Tony later. Can you increase your My name is Bill Bruford, this is New Visions on VH1, and that was no experience necessary from Yes, recorded in about 1932, I should think. This is my friend Tony Levin, with whom I spent uh, an interesting two or three years in celebrated rehearsal rooms in Champaign, Illinois. Would you have in played... Other places. In other places. Would you have played with me if you had known in advance what I looked like in I, 1932 I, with Yes? <laughs> <laughs> I would have done it all, Bill, and indeed someday I might do it again. I never <laughs> We always ended up rehearsing in Champaign, Illinois, because it seems to be the cheapest part of America, as far as I can make out. The, I think we found the cheapest place in the world to rehearse. Absolutely. And uh, it's also, of course, the home of the great Adrian Ballou. In a very friendly atmosphere, and, and things worked out great for us there. Parking, taste, parking <laughs> tickets were extraordinarily cheap, right. which is important when you're there for a long time. Have you been in touch with Adrian at all? 
Don't see him much. I saw him at a NAMM festival, and I understand he's doing well. Yeah, this is mostly where we musicians bump into each other, is these kind of musical instrument manufacturer affairs, <laughs> where we're all basically scamming new the equipment. The odd interview on TV. I'm and the odd... thrilled to see you here. This is wonderful. Sure. I, we, didn't, we didn't hang out that much, really, on, on, on tour. You, you don't. And this is proving to us, I think, that, that we don't have that much to say to each other. We've spent, <laughs> see, folks, we've spent so many weeks, months, years living together. We told each other all our jokes. We, we, there's not that much left except uh, how are the kids, you know. Uh -huh. And, of course, you live up in the, the Woodstock area alongside Torn, who we heard Torn. from earlier. And uh, we did, when we did that album together, it was a nice chance to spend yes. some time together and catch up on things we had missed. That was nice. I'm sorry you were unavailable to come to Germany with us to, to crash the Mercedes-Benz. That was... It sounds that like was I missed a really <laughs> big party, a, a, a major event on tour. Yep, indeed. Well, maybe in the future. Thanks for coming along, Tony. My pleasure, Bill. Pleasure to see you again.
That was Up North, the cut from my shortly-to-be-released Earthworks album, which looks a whole lot like that if you like the look of unfinished album art sleeve work. This is a first, folks. So when we say British jazz, I know it probably means very little to uh, you folks in America. Obviously, you are the originators of a wonderful art form. But I think all of us over there in Europe would feel that the art form has reached sufficient maturity to be able to be grabbed by Europeans too and to add a little local color to the thing. So obviously now you can have jazz from Moscow, you can have Norwegian jazz in the shape of Jan Gabarik, you can have British jazz in the shape of, of things like earthworks, which as you can probably tell from that cut really are not hinged on quite the same desires in music as the American flavor of, of jazz is. Up north particularly, up north, up north of England, north of England collieries, um, brass bands, very strong brass band flavor in that particular cut. So there's a, also a leaning towards folk music in, in the jazz sense in Europe. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you for a little while here on VH1, on New Visions. I hope I've been able to entertain you with some of my friends, some of my guests, and uh, be able to update you a little bit on some of the many projects that, that are in the pipeline. I know to you, it often seems that we're just in groups, you know, kind of he's in group A and he's in group B, but in fact, a lot of the musicians know each other very well, and we're more a, a large group of musicians, I think, from London, New York, and Los Angeles, really, uh, many of whom play together and, and a lot of whom like each other's work and, and are happy to play with each other. So many thanks for having me. I have enjoyed myself very much and would like to leave you with a final cut from the new Earthworks album. This is My Heart Declares a Holiday. Bye. Thank you.